In this video we're going to create a box layout with a .kv file, the advantage of which it keeps the structure of the program um, separate to the look of the graphical user interface. Okay, so let's create our widget with a button and a label. So this is quite similar to what we had in the previous tutorial, apart from I've taken out the importing of a label and the button because we're going to do that in the um, .kv file. So the first thing we've got to do is we need to create our root widget and that's going to be a class where we extend the box layout. So I'm going to call it my box um, layout and that's just going to extend box layout that we've imported up here. And we don't have to do anything because we're actually going to build that layout again in the .kv file. And then, let me just put that in, I should have two spaces before a class, two spaces before a class, and the window here we're going to override the build function and all that is going to do is return an instance of my box layout okay so that's all that file done everything else is going to be done here because as we know our file isn't going to do anything in our next video our button is actually going to perform an action so we've got to first of all say what's our root widget and our root widget is a an instance of my box layout and then we can set up the properties of my box layout so I want to set its orientation and that's going to be vertical and then I want to add a label as my top widget as in the one above the other one and I want to change its text property and I want to change its text property to I am a um, label um, I just want label well, let's get label and if I go back here, if you look, I can change other things um, here as well. You might want to play around with those, see what, see what happens. And I want to add a button, and that's going to have the text push me. And that's it. We've set up our widget, which is um, our layout, which is going to be a box layout, which um, we're going to get that from within here. We're saying it wants to be vertical. We want to have a label at the top and a button at the bottom. So let's go and run that. And here it is. Something's a bit big at the moment. We've not set the properties of the whole size. We'll look at doing that in a later video. But I can change the size. I click on the label. Nothing because it's a label. Click on the button and you can see we've got a button press um, going on there for us. I hope you found the video helpful. Um, do remember to subscribe. I've put a link to the code that I've used in the tutorial in the description below. Stay in Infield with Winfield.